What we're going to actually be doing here is breaking apart and figuring out some parts of the URL first before we write any more Swift. It's important to know the parts of the URL so that you actually know what your base point is on the URL, what your endpoints are, and then what the query items are. I realized whenever I was starting to learn how to call information from an API, I had no idea what it was referring to when it said base URL, endpoint query item. So that's what we're gonna do here. There are three parts that we really need to pay attention to. Number one is your base URL. Your base URL is the part of that URL that stays the same when you make an API request. So what that means here is you can actually see on the documentation what that part is. It's this part that's grayed out because it's going to stay the same. It's always the same. So I'm going to go into this handy dandy text edit here and we're going to just lay out the parts here. So base URL. And that's going to be that HTTPS slash API dot co slash API slash V2. It's the base URL because inside the URL here, you can actually see that it says HTTPS. This part's grayed out. That means if you change anything after this, you'll start getting more information, different information, which good API documentation has exactly what you see here. Now, what is the end? So what, now what's all this extra stuff at the end here? Well, that extra stuff at the end there, that is, those are your endpoints and possibly your query items. So your first thing is an endpoint. Your endpoint is just another like section in that slash. So if we go back to our text edit here, we can see that's pokeyapi.co slash API v2, which we know that's the base URL. Let's go ahead and make that blue. Now then our endpoint in this one is your Pokemon. So that's just one endpoint here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type this out. And so that is your endpoint. So that is a endpoint inside this URL. I keep talking about this query item. The query item is what follows the question mark. So here we have question mark limit equals 100. So that's saying, hey, how, how much information are we getting back? When you're querying, when you're asking the API something and it requires another field that it has to check against, that's a query item. Usually these are like API keys, but here in this case, it's just gonna be at the limit because the Pokey API doesn't require a key. So your query item equals limit. So that is the, really your query item is query item equals 100. But there's two parts to a query item. You have your name and you have your value. So the name is what are you querying on? So in this case, this would be your limit. So query item name. And then you have your query item value. So what are you passing to the API? So query item value equals 100. And your value is generally whatever follows that equal sign there. So I'm going to go ahead and make the, the name lime green and make the value orange. And maybe hopefully this helps you guys. Again, this was just something that I picked up that I realized I didn't know. And I had no idea that I should have known what it was. It's great. Um, learning and having to te and teaching yourself is awesome. The reason why I wanted you to know the different parts of your URL is because it's going to come in handy when we start creating classes and fetching the actual data. Please drop a follow, hit the like, share with all your friends, share with everyone. I'd be super happy. Make sure, like I said, to hit the subscribe button though, so that you can catch more Swift tool trips, tricks, more code, coffee, tech later. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.